Aminin man natin o hindi, there will be times of testing in your life you feel God is so far away. Feeling mo lang yung pero hindi naman reality. But it's what you feel. Parang, Lord, I'm praying, but where's the answer? Right? I'm soaking in your presence, but I'm not seeing miracles. Alam niyo, the first people I prayed for, three of them, they all died. Sabi ko, Lord, I'm praying for the gift of healing, not killing. <laughs> eh, nagpa-fasting naman ako. Nagpipray naman ako. During those times, I read 13 chapters a day. 13 chapters a day, kung magbasa ako nun. Kung mag-worship ako, umaga hanggang hapon. Sabi ko, Lord, bakit yung mga pinag-pray ko, namatay, ah, saan ka? Di ba? Lord, yung tega mo ba, tama ang dinig? I was praying for the gift of healing, not killing. So parang ang layo ni Lord. But then when you persist, when you persevere, nandun yung breakthrough. Right? So sabi nga, I miss those times, Lord, when intimate friendship, intimate friendship with you blessed my house. For a season, parang hindi lang nagpaparamdam si Lord, pero God was there all along. Sinusukukan lang siya ni Lord. Kaya sabi niya, Lord, bakit ganun? Bakit ganun? And that was the first comparison he had. That was the time when he had that intimate friendship with God. Everybody say intimate friendship. Amen. You know what I discovered about God's friends? God wants to talk. He loves to talk to his friends. There are so many people who are not gifted in the prophetic ministry, but when there is this intimate friendship with God, God will reveal things to you that He will not reveal to people with the gift of prophecy. Bakit? Kasi friend ka niya. Tanungin mo ang katabi mo, are you God's friend? <laughs> hallelujah! All God's friends say, Amen! <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! Look at Exodus 33.11 The Lord would speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks with his friend. Ito po ang naranasan namin ngayon, nakakatuwa, even in Batangas, even in Las Pinas, when God would just speak to people clearly, giving them direction. Meron po tayong isang case, God spoke to a member in Lipa, kasi nagtatrabaho siya sa factory, and God said, I want you to bless your co-workers. Kasi medyo mahirap lang po yung member natin, um, in fact, minsan nga, hindi nakakapag-church dahil walang pang-transportation, is working in a factory. So may baon siyang tatlong skyflakes, yun na yung kanyang dinner. Sabi ni Lord, I want you to bless your co-workers, feed them. So lahat ng skyflakes niya, pinigyan niya. Tapos sabi niya, Lord, hindi niya nainisip yung sarili niya eh. Lord, paano naman yung iba? Kasi doon sa kanilang station, di ba sa factory may mga stations yan, there are other people in my station that I haven't blessed yet. Tatlo lang ang na-bless ko kasi tatlo lang yung baon ko skyflex. And then the Lord spoke clearly to him. Open your bag. Pagbukas po niya ng bag niya, may lumabas ang pong skyflex. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Boom! <laughs> God speaks to his friend. Amen? And apparently, Job was missing. He was missing those days. Sabi niya, Lord, dati nag-uusap tayo eh. We were walking in the cool of the day. You were speaking to me. I was speaking to you. Pero Lord, asan na? Pero I'm telling you this, masarap maging kaibigan si Lord. Amen? Amen? Tanongin mo ang katabi mo, who is your BFF? <laughs> you know what? I pray all of us, let's make God, let's make Jesus our best friend forever. Amen? Give God a clap of praise. So sabi God, because God considered Moses his friend, he would speak to Moses clearly, face to face. Sabi nga sa ibang um, chapter, sa ibang book ng Bible, not in parables, not in riddles, but I speak to him clearly face to face. Recently po, meron din tayong members sa Las Pinas, and ito po member natin ito, she's less than a year in our church. Siya po, she was, she attended the youth camp last year, and doon siya na talagang tinamaan ng power ni Lord. So, 10 months, right? December yun eh. October. So, 10 months pa lang siya umakit ng church. Um, one time she was going home, dumaan siya sa coastal. Kasi, pagbunta sa Las Pinas, di ba? Habang naglalakad siya sa coastal, then God spoke to her. Because God speaks to His friends. Right? Alam niya, sabi ni Lord, pray for that cripple. Sabi niya, Lord. The Lord said, pray for that cripple, he will surely be healed. So yung tao po, he cannot walk, meron siyang supply, and hindi lang po pila yung lalaki, yung lalaki po, he cannot speak clearly. 
Okay, nakakuha niya. So sumunod siya kay Lord. He's, um, um, he said, pray and he will get healed. Pag pray po niya, yung lung po bigla naglakad. Tapos ang nakatuwa, two birds with one stone. She didn't even pray for the speech. Pero nung pinag-pray niya, luminaw yung pagsasalita ng matanda. Come on, give God a round of praise. God speaks. God talks to His friends. Ano ang muling sinabi sa inyo ng friend din niya? What was the last word your friend told you? Kanina po ang sarap while we were worshiping. Talagang sabi lang ni Lord, I really, really love you. Sabi niya, rivers of love will flow. Tapos sa parang worship, nakita ko ulan. Pero yung ulan, courting heart. Sabi ko, Lord, ang cute naman ito. <laughs> God was showering us with His love. Come on, just receive His love right now. Hallelujah. Nakakatuwa. Sabi ko, Lord, ang sarap naman. Saan ako nakakita ng ulan na courting heart? <laughs> diba? But God knows how to pamper. God knows how to treat, how to value. He knows how to love His friends. Alam niyo, sabi nga ni Jesus, di ba? I no longer call you servants, but I call you friends. For whatever I learn from the Father, I make it known to you. Kaya kahit sabihin niyo hindi kayo ganun katindi sa prophetic gifting, if you are intimate with God, He will share to you things that He will not even share to people with prophetic giftings. Intimacy. Everybody say intimacy. Amen? Hallelujah. Nung ano po, nung, nung Wednesday, Nagturo po ako sa aming hunger night. I told them, uh, kasi the, the Bible says, Rejoice in God's greatness. Celebrate His greatness. Celebrate His goodness. And I said, you know what? Um, one of the reasons why people have a hard time celebrating the greatness of God is because they don't have a personal encounter. Kulang. Hindi mo ba? Eh kung yung member natin na all of us natin yung sampung sky flakes lumitaw, wala siyang problema na mag-celebrate kay Lord. Hindi <laughs> mo ba? Kasi may encounter eh. So sabi ko, that is really one reason people are deficient of a, a personal and ongoing encounter with God. Kasi kung araw-araw nalalanasan mo siya, you will not have any difficulty clapping, dancing, celebrating His greatness. So sabi ko, what we need is a personal encounter. So after the sermon, nag-worship lang kami, meron po itong bata, 5 years old, first time lang siyang umatend. In fact, yung parents niya, first time umatend. Habang nag-worship, sabi niya sa auntie niya, auntie, ang init ng dibdib ko. Sabi niya, bakit? Kasi tama mo yun, may sakit eh. Di ba? Bakit? Kasi nakita ko, niyaya ka pa ko ni Jesus. Wow! Sabi ko, 5 years old, that, that girl will not lie. Nagkaroon siya ng personal encounter that even as early as 5 years old, God wanted to befriend her. Kung baga sinasabi ni Lord, I want you to become my friend forever. Amen? Tignan mo nga yung friend ni Lord na katabi mo. Ang friend ni Lord, masaya. Tingin ko, walang friend si Lord na nakasimama. Sipin mo, ang best friend mo, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Ang best friend mo is the maker of heaven and earth. Ang best friend mo, He created everything out of nothing. Kaya tingin ko, ang best friend ni Lord dapat masaya. Tignan mo ulit sa katabi mo. Sa kanan at sa kaliwa. <laughs> okay? So, number one, what was the comparison? Job missed those days. Those glory days, those wonderful days na wala pa siyang problema. And the first comparison is he had that intimate friendship with God. Alam ko po, sa culture natin sa CSP, we have no problem related to God as a friend. Yan po ang isa sa mga importante matutunan natin. God is not just a king, He is not just our father, He is also our friend. Amen? Give God a clap of praise. Okay? So yun ang sabi ni Job. For the days when I was in my prime, when God's intimate friendship blessed my house. At ang sabi nga ni Jesus, a friend is willing to lay down his life for his friend. Namimiss ni Job yun, that friendship. But you know what? Siguro hindi nagpaparamdam si Lord, but Jesus or God was there all along. Amen? Sabihin mo sa iyo katabi, God will never abandon you. Okay? Sometimes He will not allow you to feel His presence. Paparang ipapa, gagawin na yun eh. Parang sasabihin niya, hindi ko ipaparamdam yung presence ko. But you know what? He's just there. 
testingin lang ngayon if you will persist and persevere in your faith. Amen? Sabi nga sa Bible, God is a God who hides Himself. Alam niyo ba yun? Isaiah 45.15, marunong magtago si Lord. Titignan lang niya, hahanapin ba ako nito? Alam niyo yun? But when you seek Him, you shall find Him when you seek Him with all of your heart.